Hello Gemini, welcome to your tarot card reading. My name is Isabel and today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. <laughs> So, the first tarot card that I have for you guys is the Queen of Wands tarot card. And this is talking uh, about the fact that you could be dealing with an Aries, a Sagittarius, or Leo individual. Queen of Wands can also represent your energy. It talks about being very passionate and enthusiastic about life. It talks about being attractive to the opposite sex. It talks about a lot of interesting things. In the challenges position, we have the Justice Tarot card. The Justice Tarot card is dealing with the star sign of Libra. But as an energy, the Justice Tarot card is talking about a lack of balance. You know, there could be delays and setbacks. When the Justice Tarot card is present, it could be talking about court cases, divorces, separations, you know, dissolution of marriages, etc. So you could be feeling challenged in that sense of the word. There could also be a lack of fairness in this particular situation. In the gold position, we have the King of Swords tarot card, indicating that some of you could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, or this can represent your energy. The King of Swords is someone that is very rational, very intellectual, someone that uses their mind instead of their heart. They're not necessarily romantic, they're not the very caring type of individual, but, on the other hand, they're very smart and they know, you know, what they want, etc. Knight of Swords is in the root of the issue telling me that you're dealing with a situation in which, again, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, or the Knight of Swords can represent the fact that things are either moving too fast and you are not comfortable with the situation. You could be dealing with someone that rushes into your life and rushes out. They don't really offer you any sort of stability and commitment. They could sweep you off your feet one moment and they could drop you the next. In the past, we have the Five of Swords tarot card in reverse. You know, there might have been a lot of conflict, disagreements, arguments, and now what happened in the past allowed for you to either walk away from it, to heal yourself, and to get a sense of who you are. What's coming towards you is the Three of Wands tarot card in reverse position. And that's telling me that you're unable to see what the future holds for you. You know, you're unable to, you know, turn your back on this particular situation. So instead of surveying the horizon and relying on, you know, your support, uh, from individuals that you care about, you're really very much on your own at this period and you're unable to see ahead because you could be dealing with a very difficult person that's not giving you clarity, not giving you, you know, an understanding of what's going on right now. In your attitude, we have the full tarot card in reverse, indicating that you are hesitant to take a chance. You're hesitant to take a leap of faith. You're hesitant to take a risk. Something is holding you back. Something is preventing you from being, you know, carefree, from taking chances. In the external influences, we have the Seven of Cups tarot card in reverse, indicating that some of you are coming to terms with the reality of the situation. So there's no longer, you know, this lack of focus, lack of commitment. You are getting your head straight at this point in which you're seeing things for exactly what they are. Six of Swords tarot card in the hopes and fears position. I feel like you're afraid that someone left or someone is going to leave and that they're not going to come back. I feel like you're afraid that this person has moved on 
or is in the process of moving on and that you're losing grip of the situation, losing control of the situation. Judgment Tarot card is in the outcome position, indicating that some of you might be getting a second chance with this person. The Judgment Tarot card talks about new opportunities, having, you know, a second uh, opportunity to do things right. It's about analyzing your past mistakes and coming to a realization that you are now a different person because you have learned from this experience. So... In the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is an indication that you can expect to receive a message from someone or for someone to message you in the month of May 2018. They could be reaching out to you. It's not really going to be romantic in nature. I would say it's going to be more along the lines of very enthusiastic and passionate. So if this represents this particular individual, then great. But it re if it represents another individual and you're wondering what they have to offer you, what they're desiring of the situation, then just know that the Page of Wands is a very new type of energy. It's someone that is exploring the possibility of a relationship with you, but they're not yet certain. Page of Wands can also indicate the fact that you're dealing with someone that is not interested in really a commitment, if this is a new person that you've met particularly. But if it's relating relating to the person that you've already met, then the Judgment Tarot card is telling me that you might get a second opportunity with this person. So I hope that you enjoyed your Tarot card reading. If you would like a personal Tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe and to like this video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.